Today at Epic Strap Shop, we're finally working on the wheelies. Thanks for tuning in for another Effie's Chop Shop episode. And like I just said, we're working on the wheelies. Um, I have done just a little bit of wrenching, but it was basically just to get me where I am now. Finally got my parts list, and uh, we ran into a few complications, and let's check it out. All right, so first things first, um, went to check the brakes, found out the brake master cylinder was trash. Uh, what this is, is a OEM replacement for a 57 Willys Jeep. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what's in it. I didn't notice that. What this is, is either a universal or it is likely the master cylinder from the 74 Pinto donor car that the engine came out of. So I got one of these on the way. Cap, rotor, and a starter solenoid, points condenser, and wires i did actually believe it or not forget spark plugs but we're gonna go through and buzz how to uh install and set your points and do your condenser um and while we are here do not forget if you go to vvashauto.com enter code epi e-p-p-y 15 percent off your order check it out uh, back to our regularly scheduled program not really, you know, a whole much to, to go through right here. Um, but what I do want to show you real quick is, if the light isn't going to get in the way here, this is kind of a, a cobbled up mess where they modified a different brake master cylinder to work. And this was the plate that it bolts to. Uh, this right half a hole is actually what the brake cylinder bolts do. Not okay. Uh, me and my wife both want to drive this and drive this safely. So we're going to take this and vaguely use it as a template and cut us out a nice organized piece here. So other than that, we're gonna get in here and do this uh, points and condenser um, while I was in here, I did notice the vacuum advance was off for whatever reason and the screws are missing. So, um, I've got that reinstalled. I haven't really done anything off camera besides hook up the coil. We've been there repairing wires. You know, there, there's no sense in showing all that. But, uh, when you jump forward, if I can get a good angle on this, we're going to do a points and condenser and then set the gap, throw the cap and rotor on and run new, uh, plug wires. And then with any luck. We might hear it run. Bam. All right, guys. So I actually managed to get a decent little view of this. And what I mean by setting the gap in your points, as I could have just as easily showed you with the new one as well, but if you look right here where my finger is pointing, when the distributor spins, it's actually on a lobe. It's not just completely round all the way around. And as it spins, it opens and creates a break from the condenser and there's a much better way to explain that I'm not a huge electrical guy I just kind of understand how to replace this so super simple um, I did actually go ahead and break this nut loose but there's just a little nut right here holding these two wires on that'll probably drop ooh, ooh got it and then one wire just gonna stay here and then this one is connected to your condenser which we're gonna replace and then after that it's just this screw and this screw and this screw
There is also a wire connected under this side. Just make sure you tear stuff apart. Either take pictures, make notes. This is another cool thing about making these videos is I can go back through and watch how stuff goes back together. We just got this one right here. Maybe. Oh, come on now. I'm going to move the camera for just a second here. There it goes. Alright. Just pull the condenser and screw at the same time. Now. Show how. Oop. This to go flying. And. And I didn't even check these to see if they were actually bad, but they're legit just dollars, I think. Both of them probably cost me, I don't know, five dollars for new ones. And I mean, much better, yes? Yes. So when we jump back, we're throwing this in, show you how to set these, and then we'll probably we'll probably go through maybe some wire cleanup, throw that in, and uh what kinds of other fun stuff? All right, so here we are back at it. We've got the new stuff all installed, just the reverse of what we did. And as I was saying earlier, when your distributor spins, it's on a lobe. So I can actually crank this engine over pretty easy by hand. So if you watch right here, as the distributor spins, get peek out, about right there. Made this crack loose, and that is adjustable by just the two screws that hold it down. These the the holes in the point set are oblong, so you literally. Uh, I just googled. Uh, this is just a little feeler gauge. Um, this is supposed to be set to twenty five thousandths, um, according to the intranets, and what that what they mean by that is literally just the gap in between here and here when that opens and I think man I'm like spot on right there actually I don't think I'm gonna move that at all but that's all they mean by that and that's how you set your points is I would just now tighten this down so it doesn't move everything else is in place um, as far as what the rest of the distributor entails this is just a rotor and it just it's got a groove cut in the bottom of it the shape of the shaft so it'll only seat one way see I could push down right now and it won't lock if I spin it spin it bow it went down and locked in place other than that we got our distributor cap this goes right over that and there's just two screws that hold that in place. Um, otherwise, uh, we're gonna jump forward to throwing spark plug wires on this and I don't know, maybe try and make it turn over. Real quick, before we jump forward to trying to fire this thing up, um, how I mentioned kind of like taking pictures or you know, trying to be organized as you tear stuff apart. Just one quick and super simple thing. As I left the original cap with the wires, reason being, otherwise I'd be, have to do some more Googling and figure out what the firing order this is. Uh, not a big deal on a four cylinder, but in V8s and stuff, it could be kind of a pain in the butt sometimes to you know, make sure, especially if you're starting from scratch, which uh, we're not going into right now. But literally all I have to do is just line this up with the distributor down here, or the cap down here, both, and uh, just transfer these over. So, when we come back, that's where we'll be. Well, here goes nothing. First shot. Oh, shit. Your pump's on. Maybe. 
baby. Let's check our spark. I hear the fuel pump kicking, so. All right, guys. Believe it or not, I'm ending this video on a fail. Um, we had a new parts failure. We had a wiring issue um, that I'm gonna have to track down. Um, but I want to shoot a little bit more off camera, trying to get this thing to fire up. And just as it tried to come alive, smoke started coming out from underneath the hood and one of the things I had happen, and I'll bring the camera up here to check it out, was, and I don't know why yet, I'm going to do uh, some wire diagnosing. The wire from the distributor went up in smoke. Um, it unfortunately took out my brand new couple dollar points. We can't see it very well, but it, it smoked it down there. It's not even closing all the way now. Um, another issue that I didn't notice until I came in to do some more diagnosing is there is either an issue with the cap or an issue with the rotor. Because, um, like I said, I was doing some diagnosing and I just had, I didn't screw the cap down. And when the rotor was spinning, it, was lit it literally knocked the cap off the distributor. So, these are supposed to spark to one another. They are not supposed to collide with one another. Um, so, super, super bummer. Um, I guess you could say that this is my roadkill moment. End of the episode, I'm a failure. But, I'm gonna be out here. I'm gonna figure out what this wiring issue is. I'm gonna get the correct parts. Even have to reuse some old stuff. Try to try, try to get this thing alive, but don't let some failure take her down. This episode has been major failure. Wrong brake cylinder. Had a fire. Didn't get the Jeep fired. So far, the Willys has been a nightmare. But I assure you, this thing is coming alive. So smash that subscribe button. Smash that little dingly bell so you know when I pop new videos out. Leave a comment. Check out the gram, Epi's Chop Shop on the Instagram. Thanks for my whole 87 subscribers right now. You guys are awesome. Um, and that's all I got for you. Deuces.